right, so here's the melody and chords to Hate Me. So I just threw a capo on the first fret, um, which you don't actually need for this first part. If you don't want, uh, don't want to use a capo, you don't have to. So, um, uh, but the chords, you'll need a capo. So you take your index finger and you're gonna set it right here on the eighth fret of the A string. And you're gonna just pluck that note twice. And then you're gonna go uh, with your ring finger here and set it down on the 10th fret of the G. So those notes are an octave apart for you um, uh, theory buffs out there. So you've got, all right. Now you're gonna jump your ring finger up to the 10th fret of the uh, D string. You're gonna start a little walk up. So you're gonna play that note, then use your pinky on the 11th fret. All right, so here's what we've got. All right, now you're gonna take your index finger, set it up here on the eighth fret of the G. Then you're gonna go back to the note you were just on, 11th fret of the D with your pinky. So, so that's 8th fret of G, 11th fret of D. Then you're gonna go ring finger, 10th um, fret of the D. And I, I think it sounds good to just do kind of two quick plucks there. So you've got If you want to do a little palm muting, you know, just kind of karate chop the bridge right, right by the bridge, so it's kind of setting on the bridge and the strings, and you, you get that kind of muted sound. I think that kind of adds to the effect a little bit. All right. Now the second part. So you, you take for instance that octave that you played with your index finger on that. Uh, eighth fret of the A string. You're going to move that down two frets to the sixth fret of the A string. So now your ring finger is going to be setting on the, um, what is that, uh, eighth fret of the G. So index finger, sixth fret of A, ring finger, eighth fret of G. All right. So that's starting that second part of the riff out there. Now you're gonna do kind of a similar walk up, but you're gonna start on a different note. So you're gonna slide back to that kind of that first position we were in. So your index finger is eighth fret of the D. You're gonna pluck that. Now your ring finger is gonna set down on the, uh, what is this? 10th fret of the D. Then pinky, 11th fret of the D. All right, so that's now we're going to walk back down. So 10th fret of D, index finger, 8th fret of D, and finally to end the riff, pinky, 11th fret of A, or you could just slide your index finger down to that sixth fret of D, it's the same note. So, all right. So, sorry if I didn't explain the exact fingers, but just slow the video down if you need to, to see which fingers I'm using for that. Um, mostly index finger, ring finger, and pinky, if you'll notice. So. Just playing through the riff really slow, starting on the eighth fret of the A. Then it'll repeat. Very last time, you could probably 
stop right there. You don't have to play that pinky on the 11th fret of the A. So the last time. And then just pause. And now the chords are going to come in with the verse. So I found a really easy way to play these chords. I'm just going to use, you could use literally these two fingers, index finger, middle finger. So you're going to, uh, in relation to the capo, set your index finger on the second fret of the A, middle finger, second fret of the D. All right. So that gives you an E minor chord. Um, now what you're going to do uh, to get to the second chord, which is D, all you got to do is bring your index finger down to second fret of the G. And then if you want, you can even just use the same finger again, middle finger, uh, third fret of the B. So you go, you're going to go from E minor to D with a open high E string. And the strum pattern I was using, I think, was... So what that is, is just down, down. That's a really easy strum pattern to play if you want to try to sing it um, and it just kind of makes everything I think it, it follows the track pretty well so if you want to practice along to the track itself playing that strum pattern that one should work out for you so anyway I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you on the next one